Now we're going to go to another topic in vectors called slicing. And slicing is moving sections of one vector into sections of another vector. All right. So we're going to take the chunk out of one vector and move it into another vector. So let's start off with vector A equals 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. Vector B equals 20, 30, 50, 60, 70. Um, I could say, uh, I could slice one element and say vector B1 gets B1 gets A2, excuse me, gets A1, All right? And if I do B1 gets A1, now uh, the result is uh, vector B now looks like this, 2, 30, 50, 60, 70, because B1 here, this 20, got replaced by the value in A1, which is 2. So now vector B looks like that. All right. Let me erase that. Um, I can do B indexed at 1, 3, 5 equals or gets A indexed at 5, 2, 4. Well, what does that mean? Well, the location in the value in location 1 in B gets replaced by the value in location 5 in A. The value in location 3 in B gets replaced by the value in location 2 in A. And the value in location 5 in B gets replaced by the value in location 4 in A. So what winds up happening is B winds up looking like this. Uh, 20 here gets replaced by 7. Um, the 30, the value in location 2 stays the same, so that stays the same. The 50 here in location 3 gets placed by 3. The value in location 4 stays the same. 60. The value in location 5 gets replaced by this 6 here. So now that's what... Um, the result of this operation, this slicing, this slicing operation does. Okay, let's do another one. And I have to keep erasing because every time we do a slicing operation, the value of B changes. So I can't use B down here lower um, and assume that I'm going to get this. So I keep, I keep erasing. Okay, I can do B at three colon five equals A at 1 colon 3. All right. So that means B at locations 1 and 2 will remain the same. And then 3 through 5 get the values of A 1 through 3. So that's 2, 3, and 5. Okay. Now in all of these, uh, there's sort of one rule that's implicit that I need to point out here, and that rule is is that um, the size of 
the two ranges must be the same. In other words, what I'm doing on the left over here has to have the same size as what I'm doing on the right uh, because if not, uh, you're going to get an error. You're going to get the red letters of death and uh, it's going to uh, bing at you. Um, so just keep in mind that the sizes of the two slices, what you're, where, you're, where you're putting stuff into and what you're putting in there have to be the same. Okay, so let's do another one here. Let's do uh, B1 to 2. This was going to look really strange. Equals A from its end. You can use the end here. You don't have to do the length. You can use the end. The word end um, is the last element. Colon step negative one colon n minus two okay so now let's think about this b one to two is easy so you're going to replace these two with something and this over here has to be because of this rule has to be of length two well this is a from the end which is this is the end of a stepping negative one so i'm going that way all the way down to end minus two, okay, and so that's going to uh, give me n minus two is here. So that's going to give an error because um, these are not of the same size. If I did end minus one here, seven and then six, then um, they're the same size and this would work. So this would be 1 and 2. Everything else is going to remain the same. Get replaced by 7 and 6. So 7, 6, 50, 60, 70. Okay? Uh, remember, these two have to be the same size. Um, this looks weird, but it's very easy. You start at the end, you step negative 1 and you go down to n minus 1 which is here it gives you two things over here there are two things over here that's the replacement Okay. Um, this slicing thing could go on and on um, let's look at this one let's say if let's say if um, we have a vector C that's empty. There's nothing in it. Okay. Um, and we did, let's take vector C, now keep in mind there's nothing in it, from 3 colon to 5, let's say that equals uh, vector A from 1 to 3. Well, 3, 4, and 5, there are three things in that one. 1, 2, and 3, there are three things in this one. So what it's going to do is it's going to assign um, 1, 2, and 3, or the values in this indexed at 1, 2, and 3, and A, which is 2, 3, and 5, into locations 3, 4, and 5 in C. Now, C is now empty, but MATLAB is smart enough um, that what it's going to do, it's going to pad... Uh, C with zeros, that's wrong, with zeros until it gets to the third element, and then it's going to put A at 1, 2, and 3 in the vector. And so you wind up with that. So you can even start off with something empty, give it a range that is um, not at the beginning, and as long as these two are the same, um, it will pad with zeros until it gets to the range there. And so you can wind up with that. Okay, so um, that's the idea of slicing. Uh, once again, that's moving sections of one vector into sections of another, and the sizes of the two ranges must be the same. This video 
is about slicing. Start off with two vectors. A and B. Now, um, if we do b sub 1 equals a sub 1, um, and I've already saved it, so it won't ask me to save if I execute it. I notice what has happened over here is that um, the first element in b has been replaced with the first element in a. So the 2 goes there, and then the rest of b remains the same. Um, and that's how slicing works. You're moving portions of one vector to another and the places that are not targeted just remain the same. Okay, So I'm going to proceed by commenting this out. I want to leave it up here so you can see it, but I'm going to comment it out because this actually changes vector B. And so if I continue to do examples using vector B, I'm going to be using the altered versions, and that's going to get a bit confusing. So I'm going to comment this, this statement out uh, so that it will not affect B when I do uh, my next statement. So uh, let's go in here and do B index at 1, 3, 5 gets A indexed at 5, 2, 4. Okay. Uh, let me clear this. Alright, so when I execute, okay, I get uh, B1 equals A5. A5 is 7, so I get a 7 there. Um, I don't mess with B2, so it stays the same at 30. Um, B5, B3 gets A2, which is 3, so that's where the 3 comes from. I don't mess with B4, so that remains unchanged at uh, 60, and then B5, uh, the fifth spot, gets A4, and A4 is 6, and so that's where you get 6 from. So uh, that's that slice. Once again, I'll comment, the, I'll comment this out. Um, and then the next one is B3, 4, 5, gets A1, 4, 3. Clear this. So you can see it better. So now um, B from at three, four, and five uh, get A at one, two, and three. So the first two elements, one and two of B, remain unchanged. And so the twenty and thirty stay the same. And then three, four, and five at fifty, sixty, and seventy get replaced by the first three elements in A, one, two, and three. Uh, indexes one, two, and three, which are the values two, three, and five. And so that's how that one works. Let's try B one colon two gets a in colon negative one colon in. If I do n minus two as I discussed in the video, now this takes a little thought. Um, but if I try to give it, there are two elements over here on the left. This represents from the n to n minus 2 actually represents three elements. And so this isn't going to work. Uh, you have these two uh, slices, uh, if you will, have to be the same size. And so when I execute this one in this state, it gives me, it yells at me and gives me the red letters of death. So as I said in the, when I was doing the board exercises, I change that to N1. Now, you have to make yourself understand this statement here, and that's why I put it in here. Uh, N represents the last element. Um, to negative 1 means step negative 1, which goes go from the last towards the first, and then go all the way to N minus 1, which is the next to last element. So that's a vector of size 2. This is a vector of size 2. Um, now it should work. Uh, so let me... 
red. Uh, and now I execute. And if you look at this, uh, the first two elements of B have been replaced with the numbers 7 and 6. And then the remainder of B, 50, 60, and 70, uh, remains unchanged. Uh, okay. Another interesting thing about slicing is if I start with an empty vector. Actually, I can start with a vector that's not defined, but it's better to go ahead and make it empty first. So I made C the empty vector. And now I'm going to do something interesting. I'm going to uh, place things into C in indices four, five, uh, 3, 4, and 5, um, whereas it hasn't existed before. But MATLAB can handle this. Um, so once again, this is 3, 4, and 5. This is 1, 2, and 3, so they're the same size. And what MATLAB is going to do is it's going to pad C uh, with the first. Let me clear this and run it again. Um, it's going to pad C because it was empty to begin with, and I'm assigning stuff to indices 1, excuse me, 3, 4, and 5. Um, the values in 1 and 2, it pads it with zeros. And then it puts uh, in locations 3, 4, and 5, the first three values in vector A, which, is, which are 2, 3, and 5. Um, so slicing is, is moving uh, pieces and chunks of, of one vector into pieces and chunks of another, but those two chunks and pieces have to be of the same size. Um, so that's slicing.